I'm Diane Sayre, candidate for U.S. Senate versus Chuck Schumer in 2022. I'm here on Park Avenue to talk to you about what's behind the coup and the attempt to steal the election from President Donald Trump. In August of 2019, there was the annual meeting of central bankers at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Mark Carney, then CEO of the Bank of England, called for regime change. What he meant is that strong, sovereign governments had to be replaced by central banks, that bankers, not heads of state, should make economic policy. So let me tell you what the banksters have been up to while you've been diverted watching the electoral shenanigans. J.P. Morgan Chase has come right out and called for a full COVID lockdown, not to prevent people from dying, but to kill what's left of the small businesses and restaurants. Why? Because killing these struggling businesses will trigger a whole new round of quantitative easing for the stock market. That's right, the people who actually work for a living can drop dead. But as long as the bubble is inflated, everything is great. Jamie Dimon belongs in jail. Christine Lagarde, formerly head of the International Monetary Fund, now head of the European Central Bank, gave a press conference the other day where she said, now is the time to create a digital euro. Give every European a digital bank account. That way, the European Central Bank can devalue your savings instantaneously. They can also control what you spend your money on. And they can just take it all away with a click of a button. This is also being proposed by people at the Federal Reserve and MIT for the next American stimulus payout. Give every American an electronic bank account and control what they're allowed to spend the money on. Finally, the next World Economic Forum at Davos is letting it all hang out. Remember last year, in spite of the ravings of Greta Thunberg, George Soros, and other whack jobs, President Trump dared to say that the world is not boiling over and praised the extraordinary breakthrough of the construction of the dome of the Santa Maria del Fiore. In 2021, the World Economic Forum is calling for the Great Reset. What does that mean? Go green. No coal, no gas, no carbon. Freeze and starve to death in the dark. But while you're doing that, we'll have a digitalized economy so everything you do will go into a giant database shared with the British GCHQ. Then it's also supposed to be fair. I think that means they'll give you a thin mint to suck as you starve to death and put a nice plaque on the compost heap where your remains are recycled to feed the next generation of bankers. This is who is behind the coup against President Trump. This is why they have so much money to steal the election. And this is why we must fight and win. In 2014, the late American economist Lyndon LaRouche wrote the four laws, starting with reinstating the FDR-era Glass-Steagall Act. That's an excellent place to start because it would bankrupt these traders and allow us to reorganize the economy based on productivity, not speculation. When President Trump was asked about the millions of dollars that flowed into Biden's campaign at the last minute, he said, and what I didn't do is call up Wall Street and say, send me $25 million to the head of every firm. I could have done that. I would have been the all-time king of fundraising if I did that. But once you do that, you can no longer deal properly with them. You just can't. So I didn't do that. A Biden presidency means the regime change that the Bank of England demanded. We must not let that happen.